Hi guys, I hope you're good. I hope you are happy and blessed. Uh, your sister again push up my house. I have to uh, apologize, like I told you. I'm still home. And um, the happenings uh, of the happenings are still happening. It's very cold in Joburg. I don't know about other provinces, but I know that it's very cold. Um, the last um, uh, video I made, it has been somehow heavy on me because when things like that happen and I know that uh, the destructions and the, the havoc is caused by the world that I once served, it, it hurts, you know, it, it hurts, I don't want to lie. It hurts so much like they hurting either my brother or my sister, a family member, a friend, you, you know, because I know just how much the power of evil is behind these things and some people may think they're not working, but I still repeat, um, there is just so much evil behind Sangoma Hood and... Um, behind behind the fact that we say we are africans and it's a calling from our ancestors uh, that has caused quite a lot and i think i even said when one does that one is somehow recruiting a lot of people and if you can see uh, the results of that post the results of what has been happening in social media a lot of people are coming out you know coming through they want help you know, help to cause destruction in people's lives. Help to, 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 to do wickedness. That's pure, pure wickedness. And whether we like it or not, you know, there is one, one super being that I know is just. I usually say to people, the reason other people call it karma, you know, I don't call it karma. It's not karma. It's, it's the work of God behind the scenes what happens is you know the bible says vengeance is mine in the book of psalms in the book of romans in the book of hebrews god repeats this word vengeance is mine now human beings we take vengeance to our own hands that's where we make mistakes you know you find someone doing you wrong and you are unable to forgive this person. You hold this person in your heart. There's this big grudge. There's this big anger. There's this big bitterness towards this person. You are deactivating the, the hand of God from being God. Because you have this person in your heart with bitterness, anger towards this person. You're playing God. You know, and then you, you start thinking of ways of revenging. And then... You have deactivated the hand of God because God doesn't want anybody playing God. Because God is God alone. And then you don't see anything bad happening to this person. And you think God is not fair. God is fair. You just have to let God be God. And you be you. Um, one thing I know, God is God of justice. He's a righteous judge. God will fight a battle of those who are not. You know, there are things that happen to people's lives, in people's lives, in our lives, that people, you know, there are people who want bad towards others without those people even knowing or knowing what their uh, sin against them is. And it's just not happening because God is with these people. Even though, like the book of Job, I love the book of Job so much because Job says, I waited for good, but evil came. George was, uh, Job was a righteous man, but the devil was, you know, because God trusted Job so much. God, God trusted Job, you know, that's so awesome. God allowed the devil to tempt say uh, uh, the devil to tempt Job. God's infinite wisdom, He knew the faith of Job. Instead of him cursing his God and 
and dying with his, his integrity. He cursed the day he was born. And he says something that is a prophecy. He says, I know that my Redeemer lives. And after everything that the devil had put Job through, God came through because God is God. He is always there. Whether you be tempted by the devil, whether you be tried and tested, God is omnipresent. He is never absent. So whatever anybody does to anybody, the person must just know God's eyes are seen. Everything is naked before the sight of God. So says the Bible in the book of Hebrews. There is nothing hidden. There is nothing that cannot be seen. God sees through us. God sees through us like we we, we invisible. There is nothing, absolutely nothing that God doesn't see. Now, let, let us share something from the book of Romans. I love the scripture, you know. I, 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 I've, I've learned to fight with the scripture so much. It, 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 it works, you know. A, a very close person I knew also loved the scripture. And it came into our lives more when things were happening in our lives. But, you know, unknown to him. The person gave me the scripture without knowing that it's a scripture that I battle with. The book of Romans chapter 12. I love verse 17. <laughs> I love verse 17. Um, in fact, I'll start in 16. Uh, the book of Romans, chapter 12, verse 16 to 17. These are just marks of a true Christian, someone that believes truly in God and someone that has, uh, God has revealed the Lord Jesus to him and confessed him as Lord and personal Savior. Now, the Bible reads, live in harmony with one another. Do not be haughty but associate with the lowly. Never be wise in your own sight. Verse 17, repay no evil for evil, but give thought to do what is honorable in the sight of all. Now, there's another uh, part of, uh, I want to paraphrase uh, verse 18, verse 19. In fact, I'll just say it all. Verse 19 says, Beloved, never avenge yourselves, but leave it to the wrath of God, for it is written, Vengeance is mine. I will repay, says the Lord. Live in harmony with one another. Do not be haughty. You know, the Bible is a pure and a good example for us. Never be wise in your own eyes. You know, it is so sad when you look at people and the kind of wisdom that they display and they think they wise. God is more wiser. God cannot create human beings. And God put another human being to play God. Never be wise in your own sight. You know, it is a foolishness. It is also said at the same time to think that you wise, to feel you wise, you know, and you wise in your own sight. Do not avenge yourselves. Vengeance belongs to God. He is God of justice. You cannot plant an apple with grape seeds and expect an apple. You cannot plant wickedness and think that you will get uh, rewards of good. One thing I can say, 
this will not end well. You can travel. You can go to so many evil. What is pub in public? God shames public. God exposes evil so publicly it's not even ashamed. He rewards those who pray in private, publicly. And he shames those who think they know publicly. That's why the, Jesus made the public spectacle with the devil. This will not end well. Let me tell you something. You can travel. You can go and empower yourself to so many wicked men of a certain level. But this one will not end well. <laughs> because God is God of justice. A man that's irresponsible for his own uh, um, duty, God will deal with them in the way that he knows how to. You understand? But wickedness, it's God will pay for it. He rewards us according to our own deeds. This one will not end well. Trouble will come knocking. All because of a publicity, publicity stunt. Everyone that longs for wickedness, some will continue to struggle because their heart is full of evil. May we continue to pray for our loved ones because these people are our loved ones. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for tuning in. I love you all. God loves you more.